G'day everyone, Average Alexis here, hoping you're having a good one and first off apologies if there's any strange noises, I'm sitting in my lounge room on the floor because the air conditioner's on out in the lounge room, so that's where we are because it's really hot in Townsville right now. Um, anyway, long story short, you did not read the title wrong, I will be shaving my hair off, I kid you not, this is not a joke, this is not a drill. I'm going to be shaving my hair off, okay? <laughs> now, I've been thinking about shaving my hair off for a while now. Like I'm talking since beginning of this year, before COVID, before anything like that. That's how long I've been thinking about shaving my hair off. Mostly because I haven't seen my actual hair since I was about 13 years old. Because I have been dyeing my hair, Lucy, I have been dyeing my hair since I was 13. I at one point had a pixie cut in 2015 where it was like shaved short of the back, but I even dyed that. Like I didn't, I've never not dyed my hair and I haven't seen my natural hair for that long that I don't actually know what color it is and I don't know what it looks like. So we're just gonna ignore my dog barking. You done now? Yeah, okay. This is what happens when Alexis doesn't have proper editing software happening because you know technology hates me anyway um yeah so that was what started the whole thing uh that was what started all the crazy hair colors that i've been doing so i've had purple hair now i've had blue hair i have currently got silver which looks kind of blue at the moment and mint green hair i decided because i'm going to be shaving my hair off anyway i may as well do it for a good cause so I figured why not jump in on the world's greatest shave, which I have a link to my donation page in the description below. I want to do it for this particular cause because blood cancer is a very serious thing in a lot of people's lives. Um, we had a scare when I was younger where we thought my brother had leukemia. Turns out he's just a celiac. Apparently the, they're very, very, similar in one particular detection of them it being a celiac kind of looks like you could have leukemia anyway that's beside the point um but blood cancer doesn't just affect people with leukemia and that sort of thing it's one facet of it like i have a support officer her name is jessica shout out to jess she's amazing she rang me the other day to get in touch and kind of figure out what my goals and everything were for this and to thank me for jumping on board um, and she told, she told me that some of the research that they're doing that involves leukemia has also helped to create, like has gone towards researching to create a vaccine for COVID, for COVID-19. So it doesn't just help one thing. It's a multifaceted thing that has a lot of stuff involved in it and that sort of thing. And the reason I picked the goal, as you'll see on my page, I have a goal of $1,000 to raise. I know I'm like, whew, putting that up there. But the reason I've picked the goal of $1,000 is because $1,000 covers like accommodation and really goes towards furthering research for this, for blood cancer and that sort of thing. And like, it shows you the different levels of the amount, how each amount helps them because a lot of people, and Jess was telling me this, a lot of people within 24 hours of finding out that they have leukemia, a lot of people in remote areas have to pack up their entire life and move to the city so that they can undergo treatment for the next six months for this cancer. And they, the Leukemia Foundation, like the World's Greatest Shave and Leukemia Foundation, make sure they don't have to worry about the little things, like making sure that they have food on their table, their accommodation is covered, because these people, they don't go by themselves, their whole family goes. And the Leukemia Foundation try to make it as easy as they can for people in these tough times and these tough times that they're having, which I think is amazing. And I wanna do every little bit that I can to help. So the $5 that's on that page, I donated that $5. I didn't put it down as my name because I don't know why I didn't. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be donating some more money throughout the course of this. But it'd be really great if you guys could chip in. Every little bit counts. There's no set number that you have to donate. There's an option to go other and then type in how much you want to donate. Um, 
it'd be great. The date is currently set for the 31st of January, but that could change either side. I could be doing it on the 30th of January or I could be doing it on the 1st of February. It just depends on how work happens. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I'm not rostered to work on the 31st, but I quite possibly could be. I don't know yet. Apparently the roster's done, but it's not up. So I really hope I can do it that way. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get you guys involved in this because I've already spoken to one of my jobs and they are more than happy for the month of January to set up Lucy. Really? Somebody was walking past the front fence and she's going nuts. Um, they're really happy to help me set up the wishing well, which I'm going to put a poster on it with the QR code for donations and everything like that. I'm going to have little flyers to hand out and stuff, but I wanted to get you guys involved because I want the backing of the BTS army and the TXT MOA and everybody, all my subscribers, I love you all and I really, really hope that you will support me on this journey because I'm gonna look a little bit funny for a while. I don't know how I'm gonna look with a shaved head, but okay, whatever. Um, but yeah, I just, that's basically what I've been up to the past couple of weeks since B was released. I've been... I resigned from one of my jobs, so I now I'm down to two instead of three, which is a big load off of my chest. I have been, I put up the Christmas decorations. I put up my tree, which is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. My tree is 228 centimeters tall. <laughs> Whoops. Um, yeah, I put up the Christmas decorations around the house. I've been working a lot. I really want to react to the lyrics of like some of these songs on the B album. It's beautiful. My army bomb case arrived today. There's been a lot happening. There's been a lot. <laughs> um, and I really wanted to keep you guys updated, but the main thing I've been trying to sort out is setting up my page for the world's greatest shade because I figured if it's all coming off, you may as well do it for a good cause while you're at it, Alexis, because I'm gonna be shaving it regardless. However, however, once we hit $500 raised, I am going to get it colored rainbow. I'm gonna go to the hairdresser and I'm going to get my hair done rainbow once we get to $500. I would love to get to $500 by about the first week of February, oh, not February, excuse me. The first week of January, if possible, Fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, but if we don't, then you're gonna be stuck with the mint green and silver combination until the end of January. And hopefully, hopefully we can hit that thousand. I really, really hope we can. Um, the last time I raised money for something, what did we get? Um, this was just in-person donations from the BTS cinema event that I did. We raised $200. Um, Army raised $200. It was amazing. Townsville Army did such a good job. And then I think something else that I did, we raised like $100 or something like that. So I'm, I'm pushing it way up there with this $1,000. I am pushing, I'm aiming for the stars with this one. But I really hope you guys can help support this. And the Leukemia Foundation and World's Greatest Shave, they... It's a really great organization. Please, please, please check out my page. I have the standard issue message on there right now. Um, I will update it in the future. I've got to update my profile picture because it's an old one. I do not have red hair and have not had red hair for a while now. It's this color, so I need to <laughs> update that. But yeah, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, now that I have a little bit more time on my hands, videos can become more frequent and I can hang out with you guys a little bit more. Might do some live streams here and there, but yeah, that's about it. I'm looking forward to seeing how well my lovely, beautiful subscribers want to help out with this. And I'm not saying you have to donate, even if it's just sharing the page, like the link to the page on Twitter, on your Twitter feed, or sharing it with your friends, or sharing it on Instagram, or on your Facebook, and asking people to help out that way. That would mean the world to me. And yeah, I don't know what else to say about this. That I'm always so good at dragging videos out. But uh, that's a wrap for this video. Thanks heaps for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. Believe in yourself and be 
you and I will catch you guys in the next one. Please, please, please click on that donation link down below. I will love you forever for I love you guys forever anyway, but yeah. Okay. Bye. Mwah.